All right. What up, yo? What up? Where are we going? Candlewood. Candlewood what? Lake. Candlewood what? Lake. Candlewood what? Lake. This time, it's our first HVBA points tournament. Right? So how do you want to start the year? Pretty good. It's awesome place. All right. So start with a win like we did last year. Yeah. That's going to be challenging. You got the two best fishermen in the, in the, in the club fishing together. Yeah. Right? Me and you. Oh, right. Ho, 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 that's what I'm saying. There's that Morgan attitude, Team Morgan. Big shout out to, big shout out to your Aunt Della. Good morning. The only woman I know diagnosed with COPD that has been magically cured and now doesn't have it. What's COPD? Don't know how that happened. What's that? That's a pulmon, pulmonary, pulmonary something or other. She can't breathe. All right, here we go. Where are we, son? Candlewood Lake. Again? Yes, Candlewood Lake again. First points tournament of the year. We had a pretty dismal start at the last event. Um, Joey and his partner won, and we did terrible. Now, tie on that deeper jerk bait. Yep. That's just mono, so like this the polymer. Just one over, one over, down in. Wet it up, hold tight. So far better than last weekend. Little guy. Don't! Yeah, he was a keeper. gonna try to get fancy and just yoke him in the boat didn't work Yeah, I always see him as a cat. Large. Yeah. Oh, I see him. 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 Oh, I see
awesome. Like, you know. I don't know if I'm tripping. I don't know if I'm I didn't see her until she turned up on it. I'm sorry, I think I saw it was a dark shadow on the I wouldn't think that it was stuck. So. That's a good one. That's a good one. We need to go back through here and look at some of them other light spots. No, I'm perfect. That's the start of a tournament keeper. Come on, son. It's your turn, bud. That's why you just go right down along there. Parallel. What's that? That's four. All right. That's a little closer. Just dance it around and let it sit. Yup, he's on it. Hit it. Bring him back to me, son. Yep. Good job. Just ease him up there. Bring him back. Oh. Oh. Sorry, oh. bad net job. All right, first bed in small now. Nice. Did you see how you seen them? Yeah. I didn't see them, but I saw the line. Going you didn't on. see the fish? No. All right. Because what happens is when they're like this, right? When the bait goes down and they go like this and they, they flare this, pop. they flare their gills to, you'll see that. And that's what I saw. All right. That's five, my man. The easy ones to call. Mid-morning report. 
We've got five. We got five in the box. Daniel got two off the bed. Nice job. Like that. And uh, we're probably sitting around 10 or so pounds. So a lot better than we did last year or last weekend, two weekends ago. And now we're going to go try to find some more. Peace out. Got him. Nice. Oh, that was a bad son. He's going to help us go if we can land him. <laughs> oh. All right. Nice job. The other people just fished through here and they didn't see it it's hard to see them deep ones especially when it's this cloudy but normally i can spot them like nothing Ooh, cold one. all right nice job son you know what they call that schooling the old man i like it midday report it's raining shitty weather it's really hard to see the beds I'd be locking them up if I could really just have a little more light. And of course, losing my eyesight isn't helping any. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to get prescription sunglasses. And now, uh, Daniel's up to three. Called once, we're at 14.3 on our scale. After you called one, good what? job. 14.1? 3.0. .1? All right, on to the next little. Uh, <laughs> He's all <old> nuts. <laughs> See, this is typical, typical to a lot of the spawners. You want to catch it? Don't go back there. No. I'm not going blind. I think I had to put your other glasses on. Probably. Got him. Got him. Oh crap. What happened? Good one. Good one? Yeah, it's like three pounder. Three pounder? I think.
Is he on a bed? couple of more calls you'll see on the big camera and uh, two hours to go and we're at 15 and a half pounds one's almost four we need another four and another four and a five a three and a half today Jimmy's getting married today a three and a half five and a four that's what we need and I am disappointed that this water temperature is where it's at and I haven't caught a good large mouth on that wiggle work maybe it's too cold maybe it's too hot maybe the winds blowing too hard maybe it's too calm what do you think the issue is, son? Daniel's only caught bedding fish. One call was on a wiggle wart. The biggest was a bed. Then the next biggest was just random two. And then the rest. We're bedding. And one crankbait. One crankbait fish. Where'd we start, son? My darned eyes are straining so hard. I'm trying to see. Dark glasses, dark skies. Can you grab me a water, please? Uh, one of the small waters. No, oh, I got a water. Never mind. Uh, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, I have water. Candlewood Isle or New Milford? Candlewood Isle or New Milford? That's what I'm saying. What time is it? Running? What time is weighing? No, wedding. Oh, I don't know. I think he's already married. Congratulations, Jimmy and Amanda. Sorry we couldn't be there, but as you can see, we had smallmouth to catch. But well, we'll be over to the reception. What's the reception? Like we'll party. see you there. Peace out.
Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Ah. Last time I was out, somebody rode up on me. I guess there's more watching than subbing. <laughs> Uh, because we couldn't make them bite too good on the north end. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned, you'll see it. I can see it, but I don't think I'm going to see it. there. He swam off a little bit. Yeah, I know. You got to wait for him to come back. That looks like a good one. Go to the right a little. Swing that off? Is that you? No, he's hitting it. He's hit it, right? Yeah. This one's small. Here, can I try? Hold on, just one more cast. Get him, yep, get him. Get him, son. Get him. I'm not leaving until I get this one. My turn, yeah. Sure. He like, he like taps, he like goes do 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 This fish is small. This is an exciting fish. Anyone can catch it is for sure. You. What's that you said? If anybody could catch it, it's for sure me. Yeah. <laughs> he was like small. He was smart, but I uh, I outsmarted him. You know how I did it? I just let it sit there. I never moved it. Just huh? let it sit. Don't let it move at all. That's that might have just helped us call. I can see it. Man, that's such a big bag. What's what? that? That's, that was exciting. Bingo. Largey. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Thanks.
Everybody's in. One minute. One minute. What's happening? I, I know I'm not, I'm gonna make it. We're good. We got 30 seconds left. <laughs> Three zero zero, and I am back. Bango. Hi, kids. Yeah, wave. <laughs> Hi, Mark. There was 13 boats? Yeah. Okay, second out of 13 is not too much, bad. I forgot how much we got. Uh, we had just under 16 pounds. For a five bass limit? Yeah, like, fit, we'll, we'll just say 15 and a half for a five fish limit. Our biggest was 390, smallmouth. And uh, what the winners have was like 18 and change. I'm pretty sure with the five pound largemouth. And they had a five plus for a lunker. That was a pretty good. We, uh,. We didn't lose anything that cost us anything, so it's not like uh, it's not like we uh, lost. We just didn't win. That's how that works, right? Yep. If we would have had a big old six pounder jump up and spit the hook back in our face, then we would have flat out lost it. But we didn't lose nothing. So second's not too shabby after that dismal start that we had two weeks ago. Guess where we're going in two more weeks? Canada. Candlewood, right. So um, that's gonna be awesome, right? Uh, All right, we both caught fish. We both did okay. You got to see what it was like to uh, actually do some bed fishing. Got some smallies off the beds. That was pretty crazy. Um, too bad a couple, three, four of them wouldn't help us. A lot of guys were complaining about catching the little tiny skinny ones off the beds, but ours weren't too bad. We had a we had a pretty good average. I think it's just doing the deeper ones. Yeah, being able to, to right. I couldn't go deeper than six foot, five foot, five to six. That's as deep as I could get it. Anything deeper than that, I couldn't see. So what else was a cool part of the day? Broke off a fish and then I caught the same fish. Yeah, that was pretty cool. 
that'll be all on the camera. We uh, broke one off and then Daniel swung over there and caught it. Broke it off and then Daniel swung over there and caught it. And then not too far after that, we ran into that the, those nice two nice oh. people in the kayaks that, that watch our movies. They said it was pretty cool to see uh, see the movies, so thank you for that. Uh, drop a comment. If you see this one, introduce yourself. Say it was kind of cool. We uh, ran into the same situation just out messing around and experimenting on the Hudson River last weekend. We ran into a uh, guy to subs to the channel. So we're starting off uh, 2021, one spot behind where we were last year. So now we have some catching up to do. And it's on Candlewood, which is not our strong point. Hey, you. Maybe we should drop shot a jerk bait. Drop shot a jerk bait? Right. What's that mean? Maybe we can Carolina rig a top water. Maybe we could do a spinner bait backwards. Uh, you know what I think would help? What? Maybe if we threw a white and chartreuse instead of a chartreuse and white. Do a white and chartreuse spinner bait upside down. Yeah. Hey, look at the bulls. What do you call a sleeping bull? Ground beef. A bulldozer. <laughs> <laughs> Ground beef. I guess yeah. that's what it would be. What do you call a bull laying down? Ground beef. All right, that's that could that could do it. All right, peace out, y'all. Hope to see you again on the next one. Hope we have a nice, good trip tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. If uh, I don't make it out on the body of water, then I got to make it to work because I got a lot of work to do. Uh, probably so. Maybe I'll just work all day Sunday. I don't know. I don't know. Just I don't know. So peace out, y'all. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you to all the persons that are subscribing. Thank you to all the viewers who are viewing. Thank you to all the commenters who are commenting. So please, comment, like, share, subscribe. Subscribe. What are you telling them to do? Uh, hold on, I'm trying to think of Lean right uh, in there and tell them. You got an Eric Bus that subscribe backwards. You got a what now? Got an Eric Bus a button that subscribe backwards. You got it. So if your phone's up upside down, it's the Eric Bus button? Um, yeah. I think subscribe. Subscribe? Subscribe. 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 It doesn't cost nothing. It's free. But it helps us, right? You want to help us, don't you? Sure you do. Well, if you would like to help us, please Eric bust the button. Hit the Eric bust button. But you got to stay on your head to see the Eric bust button. Subscribe. What else do you do? Please, like, give us a thumbs up. If you want to give us a thumbs down, <laughs> that's okay. But tell us why, right? Yep. Maybe if you don't have that taste in music. We like to put music on the videos. Because music is cool. We like beats. We like sounds. Um, you know, I put a lot of stuff on like the kids driving the boat and the kids going on because I want them guys to be able to show their children the stuff that they got to experience and do when they were young kids. I mean, that'd be cool. Imagine how epic it would be if I could pop a YouTube video in and show this young man how I used to clear six Volkswagens with my BMX bike on a plywood platform jump. <laughs> right we get up on top of the hill we go down I mean we're doing Mach 4 we're doing at least 372 miles an hour and we hit that man we sail over to Volkswagens nailed the landing what? have you ever super you never Superman one yet have you what's that mean uh, so the bike basically stops and then you Superman right off the front of it Actually, and then you land on the ground you don't go do it on blacktop because you get road rash, but you do it on a nice gravel driveway 
So you get all these stones embedded into your skin that you gotta pluck out like a pimple. I've done it once in the bike trail. Endo, they call that when you go ass over tea kettles. <laughs> See, my mama would say, when you high end end is above a you top end is bad. And she used to call it ass over tea kettles. Why tea kettles? I don't know. Don't rightly know. So you went ass over tea kettles on the bike trail? One time. Nice.